In today's video, I'll show you why a hardware wallet is the safest wallet you can get for your coins, for your Bitcoin, and also a quick walkthrough and what you can expect from a hardware wallet. This little device is what is called a hardware wallet, and it cannot do anything by himself because it has no power, so it's not connected to anything right now, and this makes it one of the most secure wallets, exactly because it's not connected to anything. Unless it's stolen, no one can access the coins that are stored on this device. But one thing you should know is that the coins are not actually stored on this device. This device only stores your public and private keys, which are your interface to the blockchain where the, where the coins are actually stored. So the coins are always in the cloud, on the internet, in the blockchain, but in order to access these coins, you'll, have a, you'll need an interface. And that it interface is the wallet. Because this device is not connected to a computer or the internet directly, it means hackers cannot access it. That's why this device is the most secure wallet that you can get to store your coins. In order to use this device, you'll have to connect it to a computer or a mobile device. And uh, this cable right here is the USB cable that I'm going to plug into it. And as you can see, it boots up and it's, uh, and it's asking me for the pin code. This pin code you set for yourself. You have these two buttons right here to navigate on this device and also this small screen that right now is asking me to enter the pin code and I navigate using the buttons to change the numbers. You see the little arrows on the left and on the right. These are the commands that you give with the, the buttons up here. You navigate using the left and right buttons and to confirm you press the both buttons at the same time. After you enter the pin you can see the applications that you, you have installed on this wallet. Because this uh, hardware wallet can hold different types of coins, not only Bitcoin. So I have here Bitcoin, Ethereum and I can install other apps. But in order to install other apps and actually to make any kind of operations using this device, you have to connect it with the application that you install on your computer or your phone. Let me show you the application which is called Ledger Live and in this uh, Ledger Live application you have all the options you need, all the features you need from a wallet. So you have a portfolio page where you can see all your coins and there's the accounts page where you have different addresses for different coins. For example, you can have a different Bitcoin address for your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, or you can have a different address for your business and another one for your personal use. So you can split and better manage your coins with different accounts and different addresses. And you can add as many accounts as you wish from different types of coins that they support. And then you have the option to send and receive cryptocurrency. And this is a um, is the process but what makes it different from other type of wallet is that every operation needs to be confirmed on this little hardware device if i want to receive coins i'll just click on receive and then uh, select on which account i want to receive bitcoin so i can find out the address of that account i click on continue and then the computer application will tell me to confirm this uh, operation on my device it says to quit the application on my device I'm doing just that and then open the Bitcoin app on my device I'm doing that I'm waiting for the next step on my computer and this is the address of my account where I want to receive coins and I'll just copy it, it says address copied but then if you look at my device I have to confirm this operation First, I need to look at the address if it's correct or not. And I confirm it by approving it here. And the address is shared securely now. I click on done. Sending coins requires a similar process. I click on send. Let's say I want to send from this account. I paste in the address I want to send to. I click on continue. I enter the amount I want to send. Let's say I want to send $10 worth of Bitcoin. I can either enter the Bitcoin amount or the value in uh, USD. Then uh, as a network fee, I can choose whatever I want here, but uh, let's choose the, the cheapest one. 
by the way this will take a very very long time to confirm last time i tried it it took three days at this uh, at this fee so you can choose some pre-selected values here or a custom one i click on continue it will tell me the details of the transaction right now it shows the stars because i want to because i don't want to share my um, my portfolio status uh, publicly but um, to enable or disable that we'll just click on the eye icon here click on continue and then i wait uh, for the next step so it says to confirm the operation on my device to send it if you look at my device it tells me the details of the transaction the amount i want to send the address i want to send to and to accept or reject the transaction i'll accept it so first i confirmed that there were the um, correct details and now to confirm the transaction accept and send and as you can see in my screen the transaction has been sent if i click on view details it will tell me the details of the transaction and if i view it on explorer i can um, track the details of the transaction as it gets confirmed going back to the ledger live closing this window then on the manager screen and i can install different wallets on this device it asks me to quit the application on my device because i'm using the bitcoin one right now i'm waiting for further instructions it says allow ledger manager on your device if you look at my device i'm confirming that So these are the different coins that Ledger supports, there are plenty and in order to transact a different coin we'll have to install the application for it. Let's say I want to use some Litecoin, I'll just install the application here, I wait for it to install. And this is how you can use different coins on your device. As you can see it has a limited amount of space for installing additional wallets here are the details of how much space each application uses when i first bought my ledger nano s i couldn't have more than three or four wallets installed but uh, recently there have been a lot of updates that made that uh, that process more efficient i'm going to, i'm going to install the bigger ones As you can see, I don't have any more space and I only have uh, five applications installed. The good thing is that the coins are on the blockchain and you can manage how many cryptocurrencies you want. It's just that when you want to send or receive a different coin, you'll have to uninstall one of the applications. So let's say I uninstall Tron because I want use some Cardano now I have Cardano installed I don't have Tron anymore but that doesn't mean I lose my coins if I want to spend Tron again I'll have to uninstall one of the applications and uh, install Tron and then I'll have the ability to to manage my Tron but that's a downside of the Ledger Nano S it doesn't have a lot of space because it was built with the idea of security in mind the ledger nano x the newer version has a bigger space a bigger memory where you can install more applications that's an upgrade but if you don't use a lot of coins if you need only one two three applications installed at all times you can have more but it can be cumbersome to just uh, uninstall and install the new applications whenever you need them this is the only thing that i don't uh, like about the ledger nano s but uh, nowadays i don't use the that many coins so that's just fine for me if i still want the security and a lot of coins without uh, to bother installing and uninstalling uh, applications all the time i could have a second device a second ledger nano s and i'll just use it for the other coins i want to manage looking back at my device you can see that the newly installed applications are here and when i want to transact these applications i'll just uh, enter the application and then i'll just follow the instructions on my uh, ledger live application on my computer another feature here is to buy crypto apparently it's not available right now but usually it just gives you access to different uh, exchanges different sites where you can buy crypto you don't really 
by crypto from within the wallet. There's a mobile application that you can use as well instead of the computer application. But uh, to do that, you will need a special cable because if you look at this cable, you cannot really plug it in in the phone. So you can either buy an adapter like the one I have right here, which I will plug in my phone with this. But what's special about this adapter is that it gives power to the device. Not all adapters can give power to the device. It has to be an OTG adapter, or you can go straight to the website of uh, Ledger and you'll find this uh, Ledger OTG kit, which is a cable that connects your device straight to the phone without the need of this adapter. And this price is actually around $15. And I think for that adapter I paid less than that. But this is what you'll need to connect to your phone. And then you'll have the same features on the phone as you have here on the, on the desktop application. So unfortunately I'm recording this with my phone so I cannot show you the mobile application. But if you want me to review it and uh, show you around it, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to post a, a tutorial on that. This is the box that you receive your uh, device in. And inside the box, you'll find three cards like this, where you'll be able to type in the seed phrase that gives you the possibility to recover your coins in case your device gets uh, stolen, gets damaged, gets broken. Whatever it happens, you'll need this recovery phrase in order to back up your, your coins. And you, like I said, you receive three cards like this, so it's better to fill them all out and then uh, put them in different places where they are safe. And also be careful because whoever has access to these cards, access to this seed phrase, has access to your coins. So make sure they are well protected, they are in a safe place, and you can find them when you need to recover your coins. To wrap it up, a hardware wallet device is the most secure device you can buy to store your coins because it's not connected to the internet all the time. You only connect it to a computer or a mobile device only when you need to make the transactions and that makes it the most secure in comparison to the desktop or mobile wallets because these wallets are always connected to the internet which makes them a 24 7 target for hackers or viruses so with hardware device even if your computer is hacked or if it's infected with viruses it's not able to steal your coins so if you are serious about investing into cryptocurrency i highly recommend to invest in a hardware wallet like uh, the ledger and um, if you're interested in buying one, I leave the link in the description below. When you decide to buy uh, such a device, make sure you are on the correct website and only buy from authorized sellers because otherwise you can buy infected devices which can actually get access to your coins and steal it from you. So be sure to go in the link in the description below. That's the correct website and uh, you'll be able to safely buy it from there. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you didn't like it, hit that dislike button, but let me know in the comments what you didn't like so I can make better videos next time. That's it for today. Keep your crypto safe and I'll see you in the next video.